Memorial service for the former president Thabo Mbeki's mother, Epinet Mbeki, will be held at the King Hinsa FET College in Duchwa uh, in the Eastern Cape at noon today. Now, Ma Mbeki died in a private hospital in East London on Saturday after a short illness at the age of 98. Ma Mbeki will be accorded a special provincial official funeral at her home in the, in the Nkwanga, Nkwana village of Duchwa on Saturday. The presidency says the honour is reserved for distinguished South African citizens who have made a meaningful contribution to nation building. The national flag will be flown at half-mast in the Eastern Cape on the day of the funeral. The MEC for Provincial Treasury and Economic Development, Sakumzi Somoyo, will deliver the uh, keynote address in honour of Mambeki at uh, today's memorial service. Meanwhile, the presidency has confirmed that Deputy President Sol Ramaphosa will deliver the eulogy at the funeral service on Saturday. Now, for the latest on Mom Becky's memorial service, we are joined live from King Hinsa FET College in Duchwa in the Eastern Cape uh, by Zamkita. Uh, Zamkita, good morning to you. And can you take us through the program for today's memorial? Good morning and welcome to the King Inza FET College where the provincial official memorial service is expected to take place this morning. Uh, right now what is happening is a meeting between stakeholders that are planning for the funeral and for the memorial service. Uh, this uh, task team includes police officers to ensure that safety and security is at its highest to ensure that dignitaries and mourners will be attending the memorial service and the funeral on Saturday are... Um, are being uh, safe uh, while they do that. Uh, at the home of Ngwana, where Mampegi spent most of his life there, uh, the chief of the king, rather, of Amakosa, King Zuelonke, has already arrived to hold a prayer session with Dadata uh, Bombegi, who is the, now the head of the family since Mambegi has passed on. They are holding a series of prayer services to, to say to the family they are with them at this time of mourning. Inside this hall behind me, uh, preparations are continuing to ensure that by midday, when the memorial service is expected to take place, uh, everything will be sorted out to ensure that people will be received. Any idea which dignitaries are expected to attend today and have anybody uh, arrived already? A number of uh, different ministers uh, from the National Cabinet are expected to attend the memorial service. Uh, we are also told that uh, just Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng will also be part of the people that will be attending the memorial service today. Uh, those close to the Lamini um, clan are also expected to converge to this memorial service today. And a lot of the provincial leaders are expected to be part of this memorial service. We are also told that different political parties will come here today as Mambegi was not uh, only fighting for those who are in a political party that she supported, but she she made sure that she emancipated the lives of women in and around uh, Dujua and nationally. And we are also told that women were part of different projects that she uh, led while she was staying here at Ngwane. We also come here. We saw those women converging to a home yesterday, holding a prayer service with the Mbeki family to tell them that they are sharing this pain with them. Now, Zamkita, just take us through the preparations for the funeral on Saturday and the security measures being put in place. Um, on Monday, we saw um, a different uh, structures, including the police, traffic officers, making their way to Ngwane to prepare the roads, to prepare safety. As I've, I've also mentioned, that a safety will be on high alert around this area. We saw a man digging the grave site yesterday, where Mambegi will be laid to rest. She preferred to be laid to rest next to her daughter Linda, who died in 2003 at the age of. 61. Uh, that grave site yesterday, we saw it being prepared by men of the family that have been uh, elected to do that job. We also saw police constantly uh, visiting that grave site to ensure that uh, there is no, in, there is nothing that uh, happens there. Everything is done properly. Uh, at the home, we saw a, a, a home, I mean a, a house being separated where different dignitaries would be put aside when they arrive. Uh, so preparations are really continuing and we're expecting that in the afternoon um 
Mweleti Mbeki will brief the media as the preparations, whether how far they are in terms of preparing for the funeral. And this will be the first time that the, the, an immediate member of the family will be speaking to the media as they said they want to deal with this on their own. We have also been told that the prayer service that will take place at the home on the morning of the funeral will be a private one. No media will be allowed there to, to take any visuals of the proceedings there, but everyone will be allowed in the stadium where the official state funeral will be taking place. Thank you so much for your time, Zamkita. That was the SABC's reporter from Duchwa in the Eastern Cape, Zamkita Matringwana.